And good afternoon, everybody. How are you guys doing this Tuesday? Great to see you all here so early. Uh, so let's see if I can read off some names here. We got Mickey, Jim, Randy, Bob, Fast and Furious, Daily Drives, uh, Denelvis, Mickey, I believe Soap and Paul are still here in the chat also. Let's not forget uh, Ark, I believe, was another one that I saw. Hope you guys are having a great Tuesday, and yep, we brought it back out today. Kind of impossible not to. The Freightliner Cascadia 2019, and right now, I forget where the hell I am sitting. Oh, that's right, Medford. We are sitting in Medford. First run today is a load of chicken meat. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to be a chicken truck going up to the Global Mills in Yakima, Jeremiah, how is it going today? Underneath the hood, we have a Detroit Diesel 15 with an it that's at 505 horsepower, 18 speed transmission. So, without any further waiting, let's climb into the truck, get her fired up, and let's get going. Omar, how is it going today? Great to see you. <laughs> Yeah, I saw James in the chat earlier. It's like, you guys are here early. <laughs> the plastic palace. <laughs> that could describe a Volvo also, Robert. Christmas time and went ahead and put a Christmas stocking in the trunk. Gotta be a little festive. Yes, I do daily drives. I do use Trek IR. Hey, Junior, how's it going today? I'm doing awesome like a possum. Frosty again, however, uh, we are running GBX once more, so uh, we'll see what, I uh, don't believe we're going to have any problems with it really, uh, however, the lighting update for 140, uh, yeah, we're going to get a, another update to GBX. Hey, Elcross, how is it going today? Ready for the snow tomorrow? So the sounds today are from Captain Creechbaum. I do have version 3.4 of his engine sounds enabled and they do override the default truck sounds. So uh, I mean it's pretty close to what SES gave us but also SES on their own did a really good job with the sounds on this truck too. to do Mickey is we're gonna hop in here we'll go to keys and buttons you're gonna scroll down the list here to dashboard display mode if that is not set set that to a letter of your choosing and then you will be able to cycle through the dashboard modes And no, 
quick uh, look at our fuel gauge here. We're going to be stopping and getting some go-go juice, probably up in Salem. soon. So I was kind of debating as I was getting this truck set up today, I was debating between this or a blackout version. I opted for this. with with the exception of everything being black what the hell are you doing uh, YRC crazy driver I actually turn this down. Actually, oh, they're up there. I thought I had those reversed. I was just checking on the engine sounds there. That's why I went into my audio. Uh, I might have my headphones turned down from where I normally keep them at. So the truck to me right now is not sounding as loud as it should be, but eh, it's going to work. Now see, I love cranberry juice there, right, Randy? I could drink that all day long, especially with vodka. Yes, I just said that, vodka. though either you either want it right under the point to where you can taste it and that's what I find works works best for me and then if you really want to throw a little bit in there go ahead and get a lemon twist 
and uh, go ahead and squirt that in there and drop it in. Delicious. Well, at least to me. Not lemon, lime, I'm sorry. Lime twist. safe side, uh, you know, I think we're already past Canyonville, so yeah, we're gonna have to go up to Salem. Navigation resumed. exit that's the closest one that I know to where we have a fuel stop I really don't think we're gonna make it to Salem just looking at the fuel gauge uh, yeah we're not gonna push it How's it going today? Uh, welcome. ever since I added moderators, the troublemakers really don't come around anymore. Doing awesome like a possum. Yeah, 
we're actually going to get off right here. on Sunday as a driving award or not because that was the only uh, ticket that we got that day and that was what not even six minutes into the stream accessory mod that has those sounds in it Miguel so I am running that one too keep to the left and then turn left alright I don't care I'm going in the wrong way I need go go juice turn right They still didn't fix these fuel pumps. We're right in the middle in order to get this topped off. Now, see, I have that sound disabled, Randy, because it gives me a headache. And 600 bucks worth of fuel, 232 gallon. Yeah, we're running 120 uh, gallon saddle bags on this, so that we're, we're at 240. Darn it, guess what we forgot to do underneath the canopy? We forgot to do an echo test. Is actually the splitter. The other part is actually going through the gears. Nobody can eat just one. Want to make a bet? I can because they're not my most favorite of chips. I'd rather eat ruffles. You didn't in the real world as long as you didn't take your foot off the accelerator I mean you can play with that splitter all day long hey Griff we are going up to Yakima with a load of chicken meat on so uh, even though we don't have a whole bunch of lights on the rig itself we're a chicken truck hey Levi how's it going today
not have pro mods in my mod list. How's it going today? Ah, that wasn't a big enough tunnel or anything like that, but echo check kind of works. I want to make sure that we get a longer one. So we'll probably do this in the tunnel between Portland and the Dales. I mean, that one is a pretty decent tunnel at least. to Yakima currently. Do not have it installed. Oh, I have the mod. It's just not active in my mod list. And I did have a problem the last time we were up in Canada, and that was more so with the loads. There wasn't a whole lot staying in Canada. Magic 
magical fruit. How's it going today? said there Jake is kind of for someone I don't know why but I'm I just got a picture of dark helmet from Spaceballs in my head going uh, yeah when he's on the bridge and when they're firing at Princess Vespa I'm not gonna repeat it here on stream but I'm sure you guys know if you've seen the movie of what scene I'm talking about all right and echo test coming right up with flying colors. I could see the Cascadia having a smaller bull guard not like the, a big quarterback one like on the W9 or 389, but the smaller one, definitely. We are between Portland and the Dales on Interstate 84 in Northern Oregon. We are on our way to Yakima, to the Global Mills with a load of chicken meat. Hey Thomas, how's it going today? actually save a little bit of damage too if you were going to smack a deer. about 25 degrees outside here where I live, uh, chilly.
sure would have been helpful back in the day. I was driving an FLD at the time. I'm going up US 15, uh, probably five miles outside of Mansfield, PA. I was on my way up to Elmira and smacked a deer doing 60 miles an hour. Didn't even see it. Uh, needless to say, it destroyed the left front corner of my truck. And bye bye headlights, the bumper was pushed back into the tire. It was awful. Freightliner is pretty close to the Volvo, but I still think the Volvo has a little bit more get up and go over the Freightliner. Hey Curtis, Merry Christmas, how's it going today? other trucks and it doesn't seem like it bogs down as much. Uh, comparing it to the Mac Anthem, it's leaps and bounds better.
upgrades, it definitely sucks. And what is it here in the game? 505 horsepower and 1850 torque. And that's fine for over the road, uh, but definitely heavy haul, you're probably going to want a 600 horsepower, uh, big dips on the back, along with, uh, say, maybe 2050 on the torque, if not more. What'd you have for dinner? Welcome back, James. Yeah, you can do OTR in a 600, but it's more overkill if you're going to be pulling, say, a dry box or even a reefer behind you. And it's way too much, really. So that's why a lot of your fleet trucks are like 450 to 500 horsepower still. This is JBX, Miguel. talking about a lot of your fleet configurations 450 to 500 horsepower 99% of them are running probably automatics and the rear end gear ratios eh, 355 373s um, if you're running a manual if you're running an automatic you're probably talking 285 and it's all being done for fuel economy. That's what the fleets look at. nowadays they run better at low PR, low rpms compared to when i was driving when you had to really keep the truck 17 1800 rpm yeah that's a trucking company's biggest expense is not maintenance but the fuel costs That's exactly why all of these companies have partnerships with a certain fuel or a certain truck stop 
whether it be Pilot, Flying J, Petros, whatever, in order to get a discount on the fuel. Hey, Martin, how's it going today? I'll give you a little bit of a hint here, Wolf. Yours is actually an easy name to remember. I almost said something else and not Wolf, so I'm actually glad I said it the right way. ATS is not even close to in real life is when it comes to the fuel. Yeah, you still got realistic fuel consumption if you want to, but with how much money that you actually make in the game, fuel cost is nil compared to everything else. actually made three company skins for this truck, Martin. The company my brother drives for, which is HFC Transport. I've also done ShipX and a local company here in Pennsylvania, Smith Transport. actually turn the wheel the right way it would be a miracle located in Roaring Spring, which is just south of Altoona, so uh, it's not like they're not local to me, but yeah, they do do a lot of Walmart dedicated freight too. I'm just sleeping here. I'll be out of the way in 10 hours. And the parking here in the Volvo and Mac dealers is kind of funny. So that's why I parked the way I did. 
All right, let's see. What do we got here in Yakima, and where the heck are we going? Uh, we've been to Grangeville recently. We've been to Colville. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that's going over Cabbage Hill. All right, let's run. Actually, we were... Uh, that's one. No, we've been to Lakeview. Most recent stream, actually. Alright, um, I guess we're gonna do a little bit shorter here. So, uh, guess we're gonna go over to Everett. Why not? Take a load of dry milk. Please proceed to the highlighted route. I am not running coast to coast, Justin. The map that I have today is actually the all the map expansions for the game so far. Because I don't have pro mods active in my mod list. How's it going today? Appreciate those kind words. Jason, soap, good afternoon, guys. Sorry, AI, I just had to cut you off. It's payback. Hey, Jonathan, how's it going on? Yeah, if you guys are missing any DLCs, they are currently on sale. So, I'm going to give an example here. Say you only have the base game, uh, and you go to purchase the Northwest Bundle. What that's going to include is Oregon, Washington, Idaho, the Forestry Machinery DLC, along with the Plastic Stripes paint job. That's going to be maybe, what, uh... 18 19 bucks that's talk that's a great bang for the money but if you are missing any dlcs the only ones that currently are not in, on sale are colorado and the cabin accessories everything else is currently on sale with as much as 70 percent off Justin, I am running the base game along with all of the map expansions. I don't have any map mods installed.
turn left. Canada, Justin, what you will do is go to www.promods.net, create an account, and then you would be able to download ProMods Canada. Cascadia easily one of the best trucks in the game. The this is a truck that everybody has been waiting four years for. And SES did a hell of a job on it. It is free, Justin. Uh, the, they do have a quote-unquote paid version, if you will. However, what that is, is paying from a... is downloading to pay from a fast server that does only supports the team for their licensing and for server support. So it's not an actual payment for the mod itself. The free server is limited to like 300 kilobit per second or kilobyte per second. So I mean, it all depends. The file itself is like 115 megabyte, which is not very big. Pennsylvania.
not sure, Chrissy, to be honest with you. I may not have that mapped at all. If I do, it's to something with track IR. Hey, Devin, appreciate that. How's it going today? Yeah, the ProMods Twitter today actually had a tweet on there that they're working on Mission Mountain, whatever that is. Another person uh, was on the mod site. Someone did a, another interior for the Cascadia. I was thinking about running it, but then I decided if this guy doesn't know how to pack a mod, which he didn't, I wasn't going to go through the trouble and repack his mod for him. He uploaded it as a 7-zip, which the game cannot read, instead of doing just a zip file. Hey Cameron, what's up? Uh, let's see, looks like the sun and clouds today. How about for you? My 
best sound mods are more at the bottom of my mod list. And I forgot about this chicken coop. Oh, hey, what do you know? We're back to our normal of getting pulled into every single one, too. Navigation resumed. Jonathan that was a Christmas award from a couple of years ago Chrissy kind of like the background that I have of the snow uh, that was from 2018 from the Christmas event uh, currently underneath the hood we have a Detroit diesel 15 505 horsepower. We're running an 18 speed transmission with 326s on the rear end, or is it 328s? Something like that. And so it's not, the truck really isn't built for pulling, it's more for getting up to speed and staying there. changes in your config file uh, go ahead and search how to enable developer console in ATS do that as a Google search and you will find the steps if you find any instructions for ETS 2 they are exactly the same as doing it in ATS Iowa Watch other YouTubers. And I know he has ran some of my skins that I've created previously, but it, it, I really don't watch him, though. No. What the heck? 
are you doing over there? You're not in HOV. Hey, Star, how's it going today? How's Boston treating you? Check two works. You know, one thing they didn't map here in Seattle was Amazon headquarters. Of course, they would probably need licensing for that. Yeah, we're getting snow too. I mean, the weather, the winter weather warning is showing 12 to 18 inches. Um, but however, my local forecast is four to eight. I don't know which to believe. Amazon Fresh would be grocery deliveries. set up the right way. If one of you guys wouldn't mind doing that for me, it would be appreciated. Stavros Flatley from Britain's Got Talent? Who hasn't heard of him? But I, I don't know if that's what you mean, Chrissy. I'm just being a joker by saying that. Assets definition map models. Thank you, Bob.
unless there is such a thing as overdoing it, which I don't want to do. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Take care, Jonathan. seldom play it. You have arrived at your destination. Uh, please don't give me a stupid one. Of course they did. joy of doing blindside backing. And yeah, I can tell we missed that right away. www.promods.net you will need to create an account. Activated. I'm also going to go ahead and remove something out of here too because I really did not see anything that it did. This one can go bye bye. And I don't think any, I'm going to be taking out anything else. But uh, the additional uh, sounds there, Miguel, uh, is going to be this mod here. Uh, where is it? Improved sounds, and that's a separate download on the SCS forums. Did you unpack the file, Mr. Mercury? KFS logging, how is it going today?
Now, one thing I'm going to be doing here, because I may actually need to forward the time. Yeah, it put us back. So I'm going to go ahead and disable fatigue simulation. And right now, we're back in Alamosa, Colorado. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and forward the time till the next day. All right, 8 a.m. and... I might need to take my trailer first. Alright, there we go. Now let's take a look at our cargo market and see what we can find. I would love to go up to Salmon Arm or even Vernon, Kelowna. Uh, as long as we get to go up to Coke, that's that would really suit me fine. Nothing there. Surrey is the wrong way. There we go. Let's go ahead and take a load of potatoes from Everett up to Vernon. That actually is not a bad run. And we do go up the Coke. Uh-oh. I just crashed. Give me a moment here, guys. Alright, we're going to have to redo that, I think. Hey, yep. Yeah, it doesn't happen a whole lot, but when it does, it's a royal pita. And what do you know, that load disappeared. Okay. Uh, let's check Bellingham. Anything up here? There we go. Salmon arm. Works for me. out or whatever and then try to do a, a quick travel like that that's mostly the only time that I crash oh no not even close Cameron there's still quite a few trucks that need to get done to the highlighted route yeah exactly Randy when I don't fully exit out of the game it seems like that's the time of when I crash when I go back in so I didn't even bother looking at my game log I knew actually what did it
we're going to be crossing in Abbotsford, which uh, is kind of a pain in the butt, especially if there's a bunch of traffic. There is a scale house right as soon as you go through customs. And if you are in the wrong lane, you are kind of screwed. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder, Randy. I didn't forget my passport. was another show to where a regular got killed off on just about every single episode. Poor Kenny. about what they imported from ETS2 to ATS for the border crossing. Check in your documents. That's the RCMP though, I'm gonna tell you that.
you go through here, there's a chicken coop right there on the right. Okay, you're gonna wait for me? I'm gonna go then, thank you. Scale, open, lovely. That and people say the 49X isn't in traffic. There you go. This is a build that I did, Star. Uh, who is the guy from, uh, oh, the clown from, uh, what the, I'm trying to remember the game. Keep to the right, and then turn right. I'm trying to remember what his name was, but he ran around in an ice cream truck. Turn right. Twisted metal. along with a 
RTX 3080 and also get RAM instead of being 2600 which was a mistake of bumping that to 3600 shopping this Christmas for new computer hardware and it kind of sucks and we can blame the scalpers. And hopefully by the time I build next year, which is probably going to be March or April, that there's quite a bit of stock on hand.
game was alright in its day, but comparing Can It Dream to this, I mean, there, there's no comparison. None whatsoever. but every time I see something like that, I've got to blow the horn going through there. It just sounds so cool.
not sure I know that game. serious you moron slow down hop into the hammer lane speed up get back into the granny lane and slam on your brakes again what is wrong with the AI today saw that too. what's in front of us up there. Useless Express. Oh, I thought we were going to sell goods. I guess we're going to that Walbert there. Okay. Navigation resumed. Navigation resumed. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's a big old thread actually on the SCS forums about it that it needs to be fixed. I mean, certain parts of it, yes, it does need fixed, like the slowing down, going from a two to a four lane and vice versa. That is some of the worst that I've seen. I'm just gonna take a look and see what's here. Yeah, I'm not gonna do any of those. Uh, five, let's go ahead and make it like seven o'clock tomorrow morning. All right, now let's see what else is up here. Uh, it doesn't look like anything staying in Canada. Nothing in Kamloops. Merit? Nada? Nope. Nope. And we were already up the coke, so I'd rather not do that again. Uh, Princeton? Nothing. Yeah, and this is the issue that I run into every now and then. Well, the last time we ran Canada, we ran into this, to where there isn't a whole lot of loads up here for some odd reason. Alright, but that's the uh, cargo market. Let's check the freight market. <laughs> no. I'm just seeing what else is here. Yeah, it seems like it's more uh, with the freight market than cargo market, but maybe that's just me. Yeah, I guess we can... Uh, taking an empty container and it's not like you're going to be slowing down on the coke very much with that uh, just to do one more run basically and these are all too short to be honest with you although uh, the coastline mining I believe it is in Princeton that there's like three different areas in there but I'm not sure if you are able to pick up at all of them or not I'm not going to do Salmon Arm because we were just there. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this uh, over to Merit. Please proceed to the let's highlighted see. route. Get rid of our trailer. Navigation resumed. Alright, and let's see. Can we change out this trailer to anything else? And big one. Works for me. Alright, so be it.
Wow, that's what I get for really not paying attention. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Get on out of here. Let's go up to Merritt. how they did the protected left turn there and then also made it to where if there's no traffic coming you don't need to wait for a green arrow you can still turn I and mean, that's interesting I hope one of these days that SES can implement something like that driver back there only because I wasn't slamming on my brakes.
Now, for those who may not be familiar, Canada uses the metric system for their spe for speed limits and things like that. So you're going to see a sign that says 100 kmh or kilometers an hour. Uh, my truck dashboard is still set up to US, so that's why you're seeing 62, 75, uh, 38, things like that.
that big difference going up the Coke having a empty container on the back compared to our first run up here when however we had what 40 some thousand That is a Canadian company and look what the hell he just did. Uh, I really don't have a dream truck, Ethan. I drive them all. today. Left. All right, let's see where they want that. Back there? Okie dokie. Not sure if we can get around that way or not. 
actually, that's the way we should have went. Uh, oops. Quick U-turn. Coda is lost. Navigation resume. Navigation resume. Navigation resume. Navigation resume. Yeah, that sounds like your fly speed is extremely high then, Mickey. Ah, it's going right there. Okie dokie. wheel to go, I believe you're going to pull back on your mouse wheel in order to slow that down. <laughs> uh, whoops. Did I do that? Yep. We, we just bent around. I'm not even touching that. What? Okay. We'll try this again. Uh, no code to straighten out here first. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love invisible barriers. Yeah, that's not gonna work. is weird. Uh, normally you can get right next to some of these buildings without having any issue. Yeah, that this hitbox on there is a kind of a weird. Are we going to hit it again? Nope, we didn't that time. anything. I wasn't me. I didn't do it. This is where I'm going to call it quits here for this Tuesday night. I do want to thank you guys for watching. If you did not already and you enjoyed the stream, please leave a thumbs up. And it would be great if you guys would be my friend by hitting that red button below. You can then enable notifications by clicking on the gray bell. Have a great rest of your evenings. As always, keep that shiny side up and we'll catch you on the flip-flop.